We're talking about what's important to you, your money, your business, your life. This is Boomer's Brain Trust with Johnny Dean and Dinah Smith. Call 877-PLANNER now. Ooh, yeah. Yeah. Welcome to Biz TV viewers. Johnny Dean and Dinah Smith uh, putting the Friday together for you. It feels like a Friday, too. I don't know why it just does. It's kind of nice. Uh, and uh, we got your uh, phone calls, you got your emails, and everything coming up right here on the Boomer's Brain Trust program. 877 Planner, P L A N N E R. We're here to take your calls, and we're here to just be generally entertaining in one form or another. We're going to talk strategy with Professor Plum, certified financial planner, in just a couple of moments. And if you got a money question, we're going to have the answers for you. That's in just a bit. So you might want to call now. I think every line is open. 877 P L A N N E R. N-E-R, strategies and solutions, that's what we've got. Diana Smith will be right here with me at 51 After, and we're going to talk, I can't believe this, we're going to talk with a guest about Oscar weekend and what the heck is going on with movies these days. <laughs> Did you ever think we'd do on that? But no. it, It's on everybody's minds, right? It is, it honestly. Is. It's, yeah. it's a, yeah. Well, we right now, though, uh, we've got a few stories and headlines making the rounds at various group therapy sessions. Ah. So, so we've got, uh, the, the, did you hear that, that uh, George W. Bush paintings are going on display? Really? Yes, George W. Bush paintings, uh, uh, paintings by our former president, are going to go on display at the George W. Bush Presidential Library and Museum in Dallas. That's starting in April. All right, and the, the exhibit's called The Art of Leadership, A President's Personal Diplomacy. It's going to include more than two dozen portraits by, uh, 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 paintings by Bush, along with some photographs and other artifacts. He began painting after leaving the White House. Now, I'll, I'll show you a couple of them. Here's the They're first one. They're not bad. Here's the first one. Oh, uh, no, 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 come man, on. This is called Man versus Nature. All right? <laughs> and if you note the subtle use of depth and shading. <laughs> All right? Now, that's the first one. Now, the second one is an interesting one as we move <laughs> along. This he called Les Bourgeois Gentilhomme, which is Spanish for the harvesters. Oh, my gosh. Uh, here's, a, here's one of my favorites, Triumph Over Adversity. Now, this was uh, during his celebrated blue period back during the second week of August. John. Well, I thought I'd better show you. Now, I've the, the, seen the, some of them, and they're, they're pretty good. Well, they're not bad if you just, if you can kind of see it. This fourth <laughs> one is by Hillary. Now, Hillary Clinton is, is going to, she, she uh, this is on loan from Hillary. To okay. his, uh, uh, this, this was called uh, <laughs> Procession to Eden. Ah. And if you notice the shift from uh, stark realism to abstract expressionism. So if you kind of, you know, put it all together, you can see. And there are a whole bunch more. There are a whole lot more of his uh, paintings and I think a couple of Hillary's, as you saw, at the George W. Bush uh, uh, exhibit. It's starting in April. I, I'm... <laughs> <laughs> okay, I'm not going to say a word. Sorry. You're not, well, I mean, you know. That, okay. I'm, okay, All was right. that, it's Friday. <laughs> <laughs> you just gave me a Butterfield look right there. <laughs> what are you talking well, I'm about? Trying to, I'm trying to wrap my head around it, Johnny. Uh, I um, can't wrap my head around it either, frankly. I would go to that exhibit. I think it looks I like would too. It really better than looks anything outstanding. I ever saw on the front of my fridge. So. Doesn't it, though? And yeah. it's better than a whole lot of art that you see in parks. Oh, my gosh. You know they're building a Noah's Ark in the hills of Kentucky. Did you know this, Johnny? Uh, it's a no. it's a Christian ministry which has decided to build this uh, I guess a, a replica what they think is a replica of Noah's Ark. Uh, it, it was a municipal bond offering which actually came up with the dough. They raised enough money to begin this construction on what they're calling the Ark Encounter Project. Uh, it's estimated to cost about seventy three million dollars. This is the Creation Museum folks who are doing this ground breaking breaking rather scheduled for May, and they're hoping to finish it up by uh, the summer of 2016. I see. Mm -hmm. So see? 73 million? 73 million, a bajolata, what was it, cubits? Cubits, yeah. <laughs> What's a cubit? What's a cubit? Uh, well, see, I used to know what a cubit was, let me think. Uh, everybody knows that line. Well, if you need to find out, you can go to the hills of Kentucky because there on the hills, my friend, will be an ark. Okay, well, I mean, you know, very few people travel by ARC anymore. Have you noticed that? It might be really cool. I mean, you have to bring somebody along with you who, you know, yeah. right? Pairs I, I, only. I, I would like to travel by ARC at some point. That and Zeppelin, those are the two oh, that I want to travel by, yeah. you know? Yeah. Just sort of floating along. All like right, it. well, speaking of floating along, Professor Plum will be uh, uh, floating in here in just a moment. 877-PLANNER, uh, if you have any questions, 877-PLA-NNER. It's the Boomer's Brain Trust. Best money advice on the radio or TV. And we're coming back in 60 seconds.